like a virgin. <laughs> Taking un vape for so I always put remind me tomorrow <laughs> on your update thing. Thank you. I appreciate that shit. Just remind me tomorrow when my you husband opens it. his computer. The next time that I see it too is when you see it is on Monday. Are we live? Nope. I did not get a notification. Notif- oh, there it went. Why are you still so burr? Maybe you're just really fast. And the camera's like, uh, hey, what's up? Can you just scooch forward just a little tiny? No, I don't have to do it. There it is. But why do you got to be so much clo- closer? No, it doesn't help. It helps a little bit. Hey, Amanda, how about you just, how about you just do something? It's because here? your face is behind me. No, no, no. See? No, Amanda, come left her. Come left her and forward her. Please. No, because I'm not going to sit okay. like that. Okay, go left. Just go left her in general. No, no, babe. <laughs> I cannot go left her. Here, my hand. Go, just turn. Just put your head here. <laughs> there, thanks. Oh shit! Hold on. Put this. Hey, no, don't move. That's it. Okay, find yourself. Look at you guys. Look at how bad my eyelashes are. It doesn't even look like I have them anymore. I don't think anyone's here yet. Yep, we've got Chef John Q Knockout Melissa. Stan, please Nick, J Money. J Money. What did you say? Mom? Please don't what? Knock out Alyssa. Why? You just said something about knocking out Alyssa. No, I didn't. I said knock out Melissa. Oh, so I misunderstood. Yeah. I gotta get to find my wood ring. Where is it? It's um, it's under the seat in the Jeep. As I was pulling my telephono out, it went. The whole gas station when I dropped it in the gas station, I was getting tornado. Of course, you were. <laughs> I have to, Sergio. What's good, you YouTube? It is your boy Thesis, aka Thesis himself from Vaping with Thesis. That's right, God bless it. Now, look, mm, it's been a long time since I said that. Shit. Woo! So, today, let's go and give a uh, ch- ch- Chat, you shout out chat while I already I... did. Res, Bob oh, Squatch, Amanda. Blake Stewart, everybody. I've already done it. Okay, but do it again so I can have some moments to. Sh- no, I already did it all. You're just not uh, even paying attention. I, I was fixing your face. Just did all of the things already. Bam, bam. Oh, man. Hello, everybody. Welcome us... to welcome to Monday night. Thank you for joining us. Say it again. Welcome to Monday night. Thank you for joining us. The Friday edition. Thursday. Fuck. What did I type again? I put Thursday this time. I corrected, I think. No, you said Friday edition. I didn't actually correct it? No, it still says Friday edition. Motherfucker. Will Boyles. Thursday edition. Swipe up. It, every time I say, like, I think that, like, all I picture is, like, you've been jogging all day and working in the in the, in the the garden and you're sweaty. And I just, like, put my finger in your butt crack and go, swipe up. Oh. You don't think that? Never. Oh, never. Not one time. Black China. Channel. Uh, Jesse James. Damn, she see Joe Rogan's new. Fuck! Album. Finally caught a live stream. New subscriber. Love the channel, brother. Never laugh so hard watching reviews. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you so much. That means the fucking world. To uh, me. Consider Ada, wait, joining Kevin? The, the Patreon page. That is how uh, we make our. That's how I make my living, uh, which in turn makes her living. Uh, so we're gonna touch on a bunch of stuff tonight, but just give us a second. We are. How would you say that? We're back to being green again. It's been several weeks since we've been live officially. It's it's been an interesting couple of days trying to like <sighs> that's a nice way to put it. Trying to like get life back together. Just say word things. It's been things have been Thank you so much, Melissa and Chef and everybody who is posting up links for the barrage and the Patreon page. You, you guys, guys are so much, fantastic. Yes. Lando's in here. Um fucking Lando. Yeah, thank you, Blake. We did have a lot of fun on our honeymoon. Thank you for asking. Yes. So we'll chat about it when he is done on his phone i'm not oh shit whoops how do i do that i broke it i broke facebook you probably did i legitimately think i just broke you probably did i wish we could upload i wish we could uh how do you do these things i mean i don't know how to use facebook i don't either fucking this this was that ball sack on your phone might be being completely honest okay i can't have anyone swipe up if there's no way to look where's the pair of ball sack no, uh, your actual newsfeed. Oh, that genuinely could be. Oh, that's it's my not face. There anymore. No, it's not there anymore. 
No, it was like a picture of things. Okay, well, let me post on the Ninja Militia. Guys, thank you so much for being fucking patient because Mike Cherokee. M -m 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 Mike Cherokee. Okay, how's your sister, Mike? Mike, we talked about you a couple of times on our honeymoon. We talked about you quite a bit. <laughs> we about you on a regular basis, actually. TMD Thursday. Oh my god. The Thursday edition. Bam. Okay, we are posted. We are ghosted. All sorts of stuff. I hope not. I hope, yeah, don't ghost us. I hope not. I hope not. All right. Bits of okay, some of the truck is now. Real quick, so tonight the, the theme of this episode is this what? This episode is that Mandy will be choosing for the first time her very first vape. I have to give Chef credit for that one. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, so Mandy is a non-vapor. You're not a non-vapor. Yeah, you're a non-vapor. I wouldn't say that. I yeah, that's you're a correct statement. You're non-vapor, but you were going to choose. I brought out a palette. A what would you call this? A plethora. A gaggle. I brought out a gaggle of fucking vapes for you to choose from. And, and I'm looking is, at them, and I don't think I want any of those things. Let Let's just go through it first. So she is going to be vaping on. Uh, I can't mention what this is. It's not THC, but it rhymes with brutally, and it's um, 750 milligram brutally liquid, but it's unflavored. And we're going to flavor it up. We'll get all sorts of things. But we're, with 750 milligrams, I don't know how much to mix of what with it. So can somebody help who has any experience? Well, Chef, it? it came from Chef. Chef, with this bloated liquid, what do we mix it with? VG and flavoring or just flavoring in, gen in general? I'm uncertain. P.S. I wouldn't even be wearing Asmodus. I've been waiting for someone to call me a shill. I, the only reason why I'm wearing this hat is because it fits. He's As, super picky. I'm super hats. picky. About, but, look, if you saw my eyes just go up there, because I have a giant collection of hats. They're everywhere. And everywhere. he doesn't wear any of them. Or when I do, like they're, they're wore out. Like my Limitless Modco's wore out. Uh, my favorite Canadian one I want to keep nice. My USPS hat I get nervous about wearing on the live stream. You know what I mean? Yep. So sorry. I love you. So they said that's not you being a show. Right. It just so happens that it fits. I know, but like I don't think anybody would even be I don't think anybody would even like blame you for wearing an Asmodus hat. I was trying to think of things I would say to someone who works for like say Wota phones wearing a Wota hat. I'm like <clears throat> fucking show. Really? Yeah. Do you think somebody like who works at Nike doesn't wear a Nike shirt? Oh my god, that's a super good observation. Because no, I would but, uh, but I'm the kind of person that would walk in wearing an Adidas shirt. Even though I prefer, I prefer, like if I, I prefer, I prefer Adidas. But if I were to Adidas place, I would definitely wear a Nike fitted shirt. Because they fit better. How do you know? Because I used to wear Nike uh, t-shirts from Foot Locker. My hood days. I had t-shirts down on my knees. Pink. Uh, Mike, Chiro oh, Mike, we already said hi to Mike. Um... Atomic Vapors, Subaru, Subaru, Big Juicy Motorsports. What's going on, motorsports? Um, real quick with the motorsports, what is it that you ride? If you don't mind me asking, I mean, um, who rides you? I think we need to do before we before we get started with the live stream. I think we need to talk. We need to talk about the honeymoon. People want to know. Yeah. Oh People know. man, I wish I would have been prepared with pictures behind us. Yeah. You can't do that? Is it too late? It's not too late. You want me to do it? I don't know. Yeah, I Hi, Chris. Chris. But I have... I think I have them on my phone, though. Yeah, it's fine. I it's, we don't have to. Pictures. I know. We don't have to. It's fine. Yeah, we don't gotta. No. So, um, Sorry, you know what guys. we should start doing? We should start playing a slideshow behind us. Well, we can do... I can. We can, we can figure out it. But it would just be blurry. People would have a hard time. We'd have to go through Chef still. We would have to go through Chef, and I would have to... I'd have to do it that way. But we can do it. I can definitely fucking do it. Do you want to do this? Oh, my God. Should we fucking plan on it this Monday on doing a honeymoon slideshow? We just did that. It's planned. It's done. We oh, talked I about it. I have no idea what you just said. That's all right. We're doing a, a honeymoon slideshow this Monday. We'll talk about it today, but then we'll actually go through it. Oh, okay. That shit's okay. I'll bring the funny pictures. Okay. I've got some funny pictures. Um, and I've got Mandy flapping like a bat wing. It's uh, a sweet gift. Jeff said it can be dripped uh, in a tank or used on the tongue. So I don't think it matters. Can it? Can it be? 
can I throw it in a podular system? This um, so for you guys that don't know or that weren't the, here, the wing, no, I showed it the last. Remember last when we went on Monday after the cute. It's cubic zirconia. What? It's cubic zirconia. Yeah. Um. Oh, so those of you guys that are unaware, we got married two and a half weeks ago. And we've been gone since. The 5th, the 5th of October, we got married and um, had a quick little podcast the Monday afterwards, yep. live stream the Monday afterwards, just and kind of recapped how everything went. And then Wednesday, we got on a big old airplane and yes, went to Mexico. Um, It's funny. We didn't have one unsafe feeling in mexico not one time but mandy almost got robbed tonight walking out of work yep so give me an idea we can talk about that yeah, yeah we'll eventually we'll um talk. yeah but um so we went to mexico we went to playa del carmen and if you're not familiar with that it's in the it's like in the gulf of mexico yeah. um like 30 minutes from cancun not even, yeah it's like 30 if it's I if you have a mexican driver 30, it's probably 20 30 yeah 20 30 minutes from the Mandy airport drove, from like cancun airport, hours. yeah <laughs> Because I'd have to fucking walk. Because I would... I, in you the guys, jungle, because I'm not going on the fucking street. The way they drive in Mexico is like, it's mesmerizing. Here's the thing, is that Dominican was way worse at a much slower pace. Mexico is not quite as bad, but at a much, much faster pace. 140 kilometers an hour. I don't know what that even translates. I don't either. 140. I don't it's either. fucking fast. Um, I've been trying to think about like the first day we got in, we got it. We probably got to our resort at like what four? I'm so fucking tired. Four? Yeah. Um. So fucking. Tired. I don't even know what we did. I don't remember. It, it's a blur. I walked on the steps. We went into the pool, and after we were in the pool, what happened? The, I don't. The first night, I. It wasn't that we had to swim up deck. We had to swim out. Swim up. Well, not because you couldn't really swim up. But you could also swim so, out. Swim side. It was a swim side deck. <laughs> when you walked out on our patio, so the resort we stayed in, all of the re all of the rooms faced the pool. There wasn't any internal rooms, so all of the rooms either had like a deck to the pool or like an actual Hold patio on. to the pool. I, got, I have to correct Black China. 140 kilometers an hour is 86.9 miles an hour. Is how fast we were going at our top speed. I have asked Mandy. I had my GPS. Um, what was it called? Speedometer out mm -hmm. on my phone. 140 was our top, 86 miles an hour in traffic. It's not no like blinkers, a, no blinkers, 86 miles an hour. And then the bitch threw up, but we'll get to that again. Yeah. Later. Um, so like the first night, looking at thinking back at it, like I don't even know what we did when we got there. We Lyra obviously had dinner, but like I don't know where. Did we eat dinner? I don't know. We had to have, but like I don't. I have like literally zero memory of what we I did. Have been the buffet. It was the best buffet out of all of our vacations. Yeah, for sure. It was the best buffet for out sure. of all of them. I would say best food in general. In general, yeah. We had oh yeah the fucking even the so on the excursion with the people the guy was phenomenal. Yeah. So this is the like before we ever traveled, there was this girl that I used to work with, and she said she I remember her coming back from her vacation and everybody asking like how was it how was it, and the only thing I can remember her saying is the food is fucking terrible. And so the last, so the three times that we've traveled, I make sure that I go onto the resort and read the reviews for the food before we book. Yeah. I also caught leprosy, but we'll get to there. We'll get there. Because it, you guys, like you're paying for unlimited food and drinks. If the food is sucks, <sighs> you're fucked. Excuse me. If the food is sucks. So note to self, if you're going to do all inclusive, like you if you're going to do all inclusive, make sure you read the reviews for the food. Yeah. Um, I don't want to sound like bougie, but like we won't go to a, anything under a four star. It has to be. No, four it's just like you get to. It's and you guys, it's not that much more expensive. No. Like the money is not that. You get different. rich. But I was telling Sean and Tammy about it. Like we paid twenty three hundred bucks for the both of us. It's airfare. For, we drank twenty three hundred bucks. The we first drank in two ate. days. Our money is worth. We, we drank and ate twenty three. Well, let's be honest. We drank. What we paid for mm -hmm. between the four of us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But for for five days, five nights, F six, six days, five nights, six days, five nights for twenty. And this is the more expensive one that we've done, but it's also been the most worth. But we also like it was our honeymoon, so we That's got a like, junior yeah. suite. We upgraded a little bit. Like you guys, oh, there was a junior suite. Yeah. That's why they had the sex tub. 
It was a jacuzzi. The bathroom didn't have like walls on it. Yeah, it was, it was like weird. Like shutters. When you have diarrhea, everyone <laughs> knows about it. I told our next door neighbor, which is our BFFs, uh, Brittany Tyler, we, we straight up was like, I sat down. I had to sit down in, like, we're next door neighbors. I can swim to their room. And I had to go now. And so I sat down, and there's, it's not a door, it's a piece of glass. It's a piece of like frosted, frosted glass. glass. Piece of frosted glass between me and it's just tile. So if you, it's, it's all echo. It sounds like a fucking trumpet's going off. And I screamed as loud as I could. I'm like, Brittany, you shouldn't have to hear this. I told her to leave, and I just had to let go. Was, I got fucking fever. Fucking my. We I haven't got, even got there yet. Lep- okay. We haven't even got there yet. Leprosy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, my, look at this. It's horrible. Okay. Keep going. So, um, holy second shit. Second day. My VAPAC video is almost at 300,000 views. Holy shit. Holy shit. Fuck tits. Wow. Go ahead. So the second day we were there. No swearing on this one. Um, breakfast, pool. It's the pool. Naps. I think we swam in the ocean. We swam. I have pictures of it. We swam. But quite I think a bit. that was that day. And then oh, no, the day we got there. No, I was saying we went down to the, to the beach, but we didn't swim. We didn't we swim. The second day we swam in the ocean. We we we. What is this called? We hobbled to the ocean. We were so, t- I remember this, so tired that I forgot that there was 12 foot rainbow colored letters that said oh, I know. Mexico. I forgot that existed. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to forget 12 foot rainbow letters? That's yeah. how tired we were. Yeah. Like, we weren't even drunk. We weren't drinking. We might have We'd had been up. We got three hours of sleep. We woke up at, w- tell them, tell them time. 1 30 in the morning yeah but you want to know why we have to get up at 1 30 in the morning because this human he needs an hour and a half yeah that's to why. get up shit shower oh, and sorry. get himself ready i thought it was because we got connected flights that's, no, that's why i thought to do with it i've never been on a connected flight before except for when i was 15 because i'm an adult and i can afford to fucking fly direct okay next time i'll let you book the trip fine i'll talk to jenna <laughs> We have a fucking travel agent, which again sounds bougie, but it's, it was it's her really best friend from high school. So, but it doesn't cost any money. It doesn't cost any I'm, extra money. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, it's um, free. Get yourself a travel agent. Third day, uh, Brittany and I went and had a massage while well, the boys sat in the pool and talked about fucking RC cars for three hours. <laughs> no, no, no. We weren't in the, we were in the pool. We didn't no, we were just like we at were, the pool bar. Nope. We were in bed together. Oh, talking about RC cars. But you guys were at the pool when we found you. Yeah, that was, we just, we haven't even gotten a drink at that point. Oh. Or uh, the moment you guys walked up is when we were getting a drink, like finally, or just had sat down. Yeah, we, so we went to go get a massage and it's a facial trucks. and a exfoliate body scrub, whatever. We knew it was going to be wild. So we told those guys, these guys, like, go run some jet skis, go do parasailing, go do, like, we're, we're trying to get them to, like, go do something while we were getting your massages you have to read super chat j money says yo what's up what's up j money mm. um, oh what is this and when we got back from our massages they did nothing they had done nothing they did nothing we had such a good time so me and me and my one of my bffs tyler we all we did was sat and literally giggled on our junior sweet bed i pooed with the doors wide open and we were talking about rc cars and trucks, building crawlers and fifth scales. We also both decided on which one we're going to get. And then trucks. How much better of a morning could you possibly have? Yeah. No, but tell and me. And then I don't know. But then that afternoon, things got. I. That was the pizza. Patreon page exclusive. I will be uploading some. I have. I have the sensor. I've been showing them to. I showed it to Mitra today at work or yesterday at work. Show the picture I took of her. Of her. On your phone. Of you. Oh, I deleted that fucking picture. You are staring at your phone like this. So, guys, this is how fucked up Mandy was. She's laying in bed. She's eating a pizza whole. There's no. no. Pizza. <laughs> it's not even cut. The whole God, pizza. I'm just eating the whole pizza. <laughs> She's staring at her telephono. Like this. Her best friend Mitra's on there. Her nipples hanging out, and there's a pizza not on the plate. 
It's just a pizza on the bed. And with Mitra's, my boob hanging with out. A boob hanging out of the pillar. <laughs> and Mitra is going like this, mid-speak, and Manny's doing this, holding one eye. <laughs> this one then. And it's it was, uh, what would you call that? It was a rough day. But I, and I was. But the, it was so much fun. I was the only sober one. It was really fun, um, and so then, so I threw up. Hold on, real and quick. I let's, eat pizza. Let's, let's Tarantino this. Quentin Tarantino this. Flash, flash forward. The end result was Tyler playing hide and go seek with the security guards, and then the cops at five thirty in the morning. Okay, rewind. Yeah. So we, I don't even know what time it was when we went into the room. Five, six. It was at five or six in the afternoon. Something like that. Like drunk. So I made myself throw up. I ate a pizza. Stop. She wasn't drunk. Drunk is a thing that you can power through. You can power through. Being <laughs> there was no drunk. powering through what happened. Yeah, Mandy was, uh, she was borderline blackout spins. Mm. Borderline blackout. Because you don't remember a whole bunch of this. I don't remember going back to the room. That's what I'm saying. So just so everyone here is aware, this is Tyler. So like you could put a face to a name. Unfortunately, the face you have to put to it is right moments before he throws up. So look at his face. This is exactly how he felt. We're on a tram. Look at the kid to my left. Other side. <laughs> to my other side. Yeah, you guys can recognize me because I have the exact same outfit on. So look at that's literally moments before he threw up. But that was seven, that was, eight look, hours after my yes, shenanigans. Yes, 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 yes. But the, so they're aware of that was Mandy eight hours before that during the day. At least he had the common decency to wait till the sun went down. No, there's no fun in that. <laughs> so I think the security guards would disagree. That's just me. Okay. So I ate my pizza and I napped for I don't think Again. even again i don't know words eat the pizza <laughs> is so relative in this conversation <laughs> the, the video the that i have of my, i'm like reaching behind me and i feel the room service tray and i pulled out a whole pizza from the tray and just eat like this eating the whole the whole pizza so um, do you remember the club sandwich i don't think i ate that uh, do you remember the club sandwich yeah do you know why you didn't eat it? No. Or do you know what you did with it when you didn't eat it? No. Was you had Kobe right back out of the plate and it went. The sandwich landed there. The fries did not. And I had to clean up your fries. I don't remember that. It was pretty cute. It was pretty um, cute. But I napped for like what? A couple hours. Yeah. It was some you guys, time. I woke up like nothing ever happened. I woke up like this. Chipper. I would call her chipper. Like when I, I had every anticipation to be you like done. done. Hit the like button. Until the next day. Like, I thought I was done. We woke up. Did we go eat food? Or did mm -hmm. we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We went down. Went to the buffet. And ate food. Oh, I know what we did that we didn't talk about. We went to the hibachi. Was it that night? No, I think that was the second night we were there. Or the third. I don't know. Whatever. We did the hibachi buffet. Went, or, uh, there was hibachi. not as many people that would appreciate my joke. That was fucking hilarious. And our, and our chef laughed his ass off. And the rest of the table was probably offended. Was when, and you know how to say this in Japanese? And he pulled it, and I said, "Woof." I don't get it. <laughs> and he said, "How do you say chicken in Japanese?" And I said, "Woof." Oh, you, yeah, I do remember that. That shit was fucking. That was hilarious. I don't give a fuck what you say. Um, but it was good food. Um, and I woke up, you guys, th that night, like just like fine. Everything was fine. We swam in the pool for a while. We like hung out. Watch some TV. And I'm not saying we're like ready. We were like back TV. in bed. We were this porn most of the time. We were back in bed. We we're like <laughs> cuddling, ready to go to sleep. And Tyler calls is like, you want to meet me at the bar for a drink? Oh my God. So at 1130. I love Tyler. And us was like, yeah, yeah, bro. I'll be right there. Because when I, the last thing I fucking want for him is to go out drinking by himself. Um, Because I, I, I would expect the same thing. Like, I wouldn't want to go out drinking by himself. Do you want to go out? So the thing about Tyler, my favorite thing about Tyler is that one of, one of my least favorite and favorite things about Tyler at the same time. So we're going to do an interview with Tyler one of these days, one of these Saturdays. You can't tell Tyler's drinking up until a certain point. I had no idea that Tyler was already wasted. We went, we went and walked up. 
uh, to the bar and uh, we sat down as we're talking, we're talking about some, you know, some pretty serious shit, like not, not your bullshit everyday stuff. It's pretty serious about like uh father-in-law, all sorts of stuff like that. And uh, he just purchased a house. He's not sure that he wants even I'll make a long story short. We're kicking it. And all of a sudden, uh, some woman walks up and this woman starts talking to me. We're talking and she's starting to get a little, a little uncomfortably touchy feely, like over friendly. And now it's becoming obvious flirting. So then she goes, I'll buy the next round. And I'm like, ha, 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 everyone says that all-inclusive fucking resorts. So she, not two shots show up, but four. So two for her, four for Tyler and I. And I said, fine. And so uh, I ended up by, by taking one of his shots. So I had three shots in front of me. He took one. I took one and kept the two other shots to kind of time it out. As soon as Tyler took that shot, he went from what I thought was fairly sober to blackout. Not belligerent. I wouldn't call it belligerent. Just a little on the ruder side, which is perfectly fine. Um, and then starts saying that I'm lying about a motocross track off of I-70 in Colorado. All sorts of stuff. Now, this woman, I tell her, she, they, they, she's like, so why are you guys here? I'm like, and I, I'm like, honeymoon. And I said, that's when she had started making a move on myself and started making a move on Tyler. And I mean, it was like obvious, like this type of shit. So like touching like this kind of stuff, you know what I'm talking about? She was sitting next to me. So I get up and I start walking over towards the fountain area, like towards the back type of vape. And this big dude, like, I don't mean like big in a cute way. I mean, big, this fucking big dude, big dude walks up, turns out it's her husband. And I'm like, I'm going to have to fucking save Tyler from this man. And I'm not even sure that both of us can take this motherfucker. So I walk up, then he goes, I heard you guys taking shots with, and I, for, I don't, I remember his name. His name's Todd. I don't know why I remember his name. I don't remember her name. I have no idea. And he goes, take shots with blah, 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 meaning his wife. And he's like, I'll buy the next round. I'm like, God damn it with these fucking jokes, dude. So we get another four shots. And I mean four, two per person, myself and Tyler, and then theirs. So we get them, and I still have my my set of two, so I have now a set of four, and I said, all right, I'll take this one, and we'll keep these three for a little bit later to space them out. Now that's when shit starts getting loud. Todd, six foot nine, big dude, no longer can walk. Maybe I just have a shit drunk problem. You have gay people have gay dar. I have a really bad drunk dar. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like yep. you can tell where someone's like, oh, this dude's this dude's drunk, or this dude's white, this dude's fucked well, I up. I think we that's happened to us before. I'm like, well, she, we're real fucked up. Like, really? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not sure she's drunk. Maybe I just have a fucked up drunk dar. So that was the beginning of our night. Now, before that, I told Mandy, I'm like, babe, I'll be back 15, 25 minutes tops. Which I was expecting like hour, maybe two. Right. It was. I still. I still thought it was still an hour or two. No. <laughs> Fuck. Two forty-five. It got real hazy. It got real hazy for myself. Two forty-five so, is when you came back to the room. <laughs> now, the highlights of that evening were: we had Todd and his wife got kicked out of the bar. We followed suit. We didn't get kicked out. T- Tyler got real close to getting kicked out. And I'm not trying to make myself sound great here. I just knew that I had to fucking take care of Tyler, and, and I thought I was going to fight this dude, Todd. So we're walking the fuck out. And, and no, Todd was a giant teddy bear. So we walk out. There's a golf cart. We get in the fucking... That's where that picture came from. I just showed you guys. And on our way, then the next stop was the casino. Now, the last place you want to fuck around in is the casino in Mexico. Mexico is a fun place. The casino is a fun place. Don't fuck around in, in, in Mexico. The casino, they got big security guards, big... They're basically. I just feel like that's just like a good thing to live by anyway. Anyway, yeah, but they look like Samoans who speak Spanish, like six foot 14, 400 pounds. One of them's name was Felix. He was the head security guard. He's the one that does the does the shit. And I got to know him, got his story and shit. Now, a few minutes later, the wife and the husband, Todd, and I don't remember her name. I will call her Melena. Sounds right. Sure. Todd and Malena get kicked out. I put, I'm upset with Tyler because I'm like, all I want to do is gamble. He's like, let's just go party. I'm like, well, this is partying. We're the fucking casino. You'll we have free drinks. I put, tw- I put my, and this is not fun calling Tyler. Tyler, Tyler gets real fun real quick. So I put my, my ATM card in. I pull out 20 bucks US. 
I it's, in Mexico, it doesn't work the same. You can't put 20 bucks on the machine. You have to give it to the security guard. He puts his card in and then punches in the numbers. And then he sits next to you while you gamble. That's right. How weird is that? It's the, so weird. It's, so, so they have a security guard for every person who walks every in? Every person that walks in. Ha, he has to do that with. So what I'm doing. So it's, it's like when, when you walk into a sperm donation clinic, it would be like you having to sit down while I'm jerking off. Like you're not going to help. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I've, so all I did was hit the max bet on ducks in a row. And I won 4,700 pesos or 47,000 pesos. I don't remember what it was. But to me, I've already been drinking. To me, it was fucking funny money. It was Monopoly money. I thought it was worth 20 bucks. I was like, whoa. And he is free. Felix is freaking out because I i didn't know. How much is 47? I think we said it was like 80 or $90. No. Yep. Yeah, 245 oh, bucks. So I won 245 bucks on one spin at the casino. Make a long story short, is I start tipping everybody out hundreds. I just thought, like, fuck it, hundred dollar pesos. I don't know what that means, but it, it's pretty. It's like pink money or something like that. So I turn around, Todd is fucking rubbing, rubbing himself on the scrap, the crap table. He got kicked out. I had started tipping everybody and I was able to get his ass back in. He started rubbing himself on the leather of the crap table from there. I tried to get him to go home and I just ran away. So then I went home and then that's when we got a phone call. Well, so what happened was then so that I can take over from here. So he comes in at like two 45. I'll tell you guys the, the, the golf cart story in, in a second with the closed bar. We're good. So oh, we were gone that late. I forgot. Cause the bar was c- 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 closed. Yeah. Oh, I got no fight with the, that man in the handicapped dude. Who's a security guard. I didn't know he's been. Handicapped. I didn't get into a fight with him. I didn't get into a fight with him. I protected Tyler and the fucking bartender. Bam. Sorry. I had to just put that in there. So don't let me forget about the mentally handicapped dude who's a security guard. I don't think he's mentally handicapped. I think he was just that drunk. Go ahead. He looked like that dude from Ghostbusters with the curly hair. He's kind of bald. You guys know what I'm talking about. So he came back into the room at like 245. I was like, I'm done. I've tried. Leprosy. Tried to get him home. Tried to get him back. He's drunk. Can't, Can't do it. it. Can't do it. Um, Comes in like... Like annoyed, but like I'm just I'm like not mad, but just no, like not, no, I wasn't mad at all. Just like I'm done. And There's so way more story. So then at five thirty, five thirty. Um, what happened? Something happened, and at five thirty, I um. I hear like a little knock on our patio door, which is outside. Like the only people that can get to our patio door is our neighbors, which is our friends that are with. And I just was like, mm, nope, I'm not going to do it. I don't want, I don't want in here. I looked over. It was 530. I'm like, not doing it. The, we were and, getting knocks on our patio door? Yeah. In the it, pool? It was Brittany. Oh, okay. And then our phone rings, like our room phone rings, 530. I tried to answer it. Nobody was there. She comes back over, opens the door comes in and goes, I need Nas to come over and help me with Tyler. And all I said was, I don't think that's a good idea. And she's like, why? I'm like, all I know is Nas tried for a couple hours to get him to come back to the room. He wasn't having it. I just don't think it's going to, I don't think anything is going to help. And she went back over. Can I some of the sip and poppy? So then next morning, we're awake. We're up. I'm like ready to go oh, have some right. breakfast. And I walk Mm -hmm. over to their, their patio to see if they're ready for breakfast. And she looks at me and goes, Tyler was brought back to our room by the security guards at five 30 this morning. (laughs) And I was like, the last place you want to go in Mexico is prison or jail. I was like, I, I don't, I literally like, what do you say? When somebody says they were brought back to the room by the security guards at 530 this morning. She's like, and he was full of fucking sand. (laughs) Yeah. So he still isn't sure where the security guards found him. But the next morning, so he lost his phone. So the next morning, me and Brittany went out trying to find his cell phone. And so our room had like a swim up pool to it. Like when you walked out our patio, it was down steps into the pool. And then from there was the big pool, but there was like the patio chairs for the pool. And then there was like a line of hammocks over like a sand pit. And so we went over. She's like, he was full of sand. So 
I was like, all right, well, we'll go look over there. And every night, if you guys don't know this, like at a resort, every night, all the sand, they rake all the sand. It's fucking crazy. So the it's like work those people do clean, straight. And the, the minimum wage is like a dollar twelve or some shit. It's crazy. And so then we go over underneath the hammocks and there's like roughage marks and there's like footprints all over. So we're pretty sure he may have fallen asleep in the sand underneath the hammocks. We're pretty sure that's where the security guards found him. So then, I don't know where you were, or where, but all of a sudden, Tyler's like laughing hysterically, like clearly still drunk because it only he'd only been back in the room for like three hours. Yeah, cheers. No, cheers. Like clearly still drunk. Aren't you finished with this one yet? No. And I'm four um, beers in. Four very good beers in. Okay. What does it go? And he goes. So last night, when the security guards were bringing me back to my room. I was planning hide and go seek. So, <laughs> so he told me he I was in there when he was talking about it. He was like, he's like, yeah, he I'd be like, yeah, you guys are right, you guys are right. And he would like walk with the security guards. And then he'd stop and he'd like duck and he'd run away and try and hide behind something. <laughs> and the security guards would grab him and try and walk him back over. So he'd walk with them for a while. Over and over again until they finally got him. Now, um, so after I won all that money. At the casino, whenever I, I don't remember, I probably had like 60 bucks left, right? I was still up 40 bucks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Take out 20, up 40 bucks. That's, that's fine. Pass all of it out for tips. So like I got all the security guards in my fucking, in my, in my favor. Now, we had eventually decided to go back to the bar and uh, there was a golf cart outside the it was not a passenger golf cart. It was like a security guard golf cart. Oh, I the, thought you guys were riding the like shuttle. The, no, 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 no. This was not the shuttle. This is a golf cart for security. Oh, so we had shotgun. Excuse me. And I, so I jumped in it waiting for someone to, you know, tell us, hey, let's go somewhere. Figured there's no one in it. If they see someone sitting in it, they're going to fucking come running. And they did. Then he did. Dude comes running out of the fucking this is really like this kind of beer. Get that? Yeah, why are you drinking it? I thought you bought that for me. I you said you hated it. No. I didn't say I didn't hate it. I just said I wanted this one. I got, I got you three cases, man. Three cases That's of cute. salt. Tell me things. Tell me things. Things. Keep talking. Okay. So uh we sit in the fucking security golf cart. I want to tell you this story because I don't even know, so know if you know the whole story. I've just heard bits and pieces of it. So, I well, so there's no one in the golf cart. So as I'm sitting there, I fucking I'm like, where do you want to go? The bar. So I'm. It up. looks like your finger has chlamydia. Mandy, I keep telling you, I fucking have leprosy. <laughs> I can't keep going. Jeez, the fucking wheeze. So I fucking sit in this golf cart. My dude, I'm like, bro, let's, let's jump in the golf cart. And he's like, well, let's go back to the bar. Like, That's where we're going. So I sit down, and I was standing there doing this, like that. And uh, the dude comes jogging out of the, out of the I would say the woods. It's the jungle. It's like he, he jogs out of the fucking jungle. And he goes, what do you guys want to go? And I said, uh, the bar. He's like, no. And then I was a little upset. I'm like, well, I'm fine to go to the bar. He might not be. I'm f- we're fine to go to the bar. He said, no. And so I dig in my pocket and I pull out a $10 bill and I give it to him. Like, the bar. He's like, all right. And so we go to the bar. Which was... Open. 30 feet away? I would, no, it was probably like a good, good 100 30 feet? yards. <laughs> like 30 yards or so. This <laughs> is so stupid. It was 30 yards away. He told us no. Now, I thought he thought we were too drunk to go to the bar. Turns out he knew something we didn't know because the doors went whoosh, like, like star space or whatever. And it was closed. And they were putting the bottles in boxes. And then we turn around and he goes, so, where do you want to go? <laughs> and I'm like, I guess nowhere, bud. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's pretty fucking two-ply of you. So he didn't tell us why he wouldn't take us to the bar, but that's why. It's because it was close. Now, look at my finger. I wish they could see my hand. So can I tell you why that happened? Why? Because the swelling. No. Well, that and. So first of it was the swelling. Okay. So if you don't know the backstory about his finger, the night before our wedding, he cut his finger off. Trying to cut off the top of a beer bottle so he could play slide guitar. Cut his finger to the bone. And then we just like didn't do anything about it. 
Like, nobody did anything about it. I don't think you even cleaned it until we got to Mexico. No, I haven't touched it since we went to Mexico. So we well, got I showered. I showered. Well, much. I know, but like we didn't like put any. Oh, oh don't do that. Deep it is. I know. We didn't like put anything on it. Or, like it was bad. put a band aid or whatever. But hold on, just in case I want anyone's like you know worried or anything. The bone stopped the blade, so it didn't get cut off. No, but the bone stopped it. Yeah. So we get there, and his finger looks and very worrisome. I wouldn't say worrisome. It's like swollen and like a little bit red, but like I don't know if it's infected. I don't think it's infected, but it was infected. So we finally track down. So there's no neosporin. P.S. No neosporin in Mexico. None. Zero. No neosporin anywhere. Look at my neck. Look at my fucking neck. So we're trying to track down neosporin. Nobody had any. So finally they pull the lifeguard into the front if lobby. If you tip someone in Mexico, they will fucking call a surgeon for you. They'll do. So they track down a lifeguard. The lifeguard came into the lobby <sighs> with their like lifeguard kit. Yeah. And so little little known fun fact they still use iodine in mexico so they iodine i remember my mom putting it on me as a kid so they iodined his finger which was at the time i was like oh, iodine. but at the same time like fucking kill it all i mean i got we're just in mexico just fucking kill it all because if you don't know iodine literally just kills everything yeah i think it's radiation poisoning or something and so we iodined it put a band-aid on it and now the one we're now that we're home, the part that was swollen and then they put the iodine on is literally just like murdered. It looks like he has chlamydia on his finger. Which gives you chlamydia. You have chlamydia. And then he's got leprosy on his hand and on his chest. Actually, I think it was an allergic reaction to something we found in the jungle, but we don't really so know. When we were drunk the same night, me and Tyler, we went for a little hike. And I don't know so I have full-blown obsessive compulsive disorder. Full-blown. It's acute, but it's there. Now, with that, look how deep that is. Oh, no. Holy shit, dude. Um, So, full-blown OCD. Not like, oh, I'm so OCD. It's about, like, you know, how my towels have to be squared away. Like, I have full-blown obsessive compulsive disorder. When there's something that scares me, when there's something that, like, that I, I'm nervous about, like, I purposely do it. Does that make sense or not? Or not. No. Yeah. One more time. When there's something I'm nervous about or scared about, like I'll oh, you just do it purposely. Do it. Like, like in when we when you were rappelling down the cave. Like rappelling down the cave. I have a giant fear about ropes. Ouch. So like I'm Stop. I'm also definitely you have afraid to of fucking eye down your finger again. I know. <laughs> so I I hated the number thirteen. So I purposely my debit card. Uh, oh, I should not say that. Um, <laughs> so like now my favorite number is thirteen on purpose. Um, I used to hate the the number twenty one. My favorite, one of my favorite numbers is twenty one. Like things like that. So I was absolutely thinking about it until I love it. So um, hate heights. So I forced myself to do shit that have heights. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take it off. I'm taking it off. Ready? So what did you do? How did you get leprosy in your hand? So <laughs> one of my fears is like touching a plant and then dying from it because of anaphylactic shock. What I did, I didn't tell you about this because I I didn't want any judgment from you, Amanda. Try the wild berry one now. The green one. Right now. Right now, the second. They're my favorite. You haven't even tried this at wild salad. Yes, I have. These are my favorite ones. These are the ones I got at Kolsky's that one time, remember? Kolsky's? Say it again. Kolsky's? You're definitely from Minnesota. Yep. So, when as we were walking over the bridge... Oh! We did go over the cenote. I showed Tyler it, and we fucking went under the ropes. <laughs> I could... I See, I was a little blackout, too. I just remembered. That's how the whole thing happened. <sighs> And me and Tyler went back looking at monkeys like it was brand new. Granted, it was daytime. So what was scared me was we had gone down to the fucking ocean. And do you know you know the path where you take to get to the stinky pussy showers? You know what I'm talking about? The, you know what I'm talking about? The, to get to the fucking fake bar, it's just fruit. They were blind oh, yeah. That little wooden path. So there's this wooden path down there. And they have all these plants. And one of my fears is touching a plant and dying fucking. I'm highly... Can you hear that? <laughs> Highly allergic to uh, wasps and shit. So, like, I'm scared of being allergic to plants. So, what I did was, like, I grabbed the fucking, those thick-ass leaves, their thick-ass leaves, and I grabbed it and fucking touched myself with them. I'm like, oh, I'm fine. See? Because. 
So I was right this whole time. Shut up. So I was right this whole fucking time. Shut up. Shut I kept saying, like, you probably just touched something you're allergic to. You probably just rubbed up against a plant that you're allergic to. It looks like an allergic reaction blister. I told him that literally for fucking five days. Yes, but you don't understand my mindset. Like, my mindset. Like, do you know how do you know dumb I sound to people? Like, I'm scared of this, so I, now I have to do it. Does it make sense or not? So is that what happened to your chest, too? Did you rub it all over your boobies, too? The, I have no fucking... No, I have no idea. Well, that was probably from the same night. You guys mm-hmm. probably did something else then. Did you have a seatbelt on in the golf cart? <laughs> no. Because it looks like seatbelt rash. It's not, Manny. What I'm telling you is this is not from that plant. This is leprosy. I think I have leprosy. Mandy. What? I have leprosy. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming off. Oh, have you guys? Oh, it looks like a like a dragon. It looks like. <laughs> do, you, do you see it? Do you see it? So gross. But do you see it though? Like the. <laughs> it's majestic as fuck. I'm taking a picture of this. It's so fucking gross. Yes, but it's majestic. I'm gonna post this on Patreon. Oh. Uh. Oh my god! Everyone's gonna agree. It looks like a shaved chicken or a fucking dragon. Or a T Rex. Shut your fucking horish mouth. It's really gross, you guys. I'm posting it on Patreon page right now. So, so after that drunken night, then we went to. Uh, okay, so this is my thing. When we went to Mexico, I wanted to go snorkeling. Fuck. I want to go snorkeling. That there are certain- real bad. I want to like swim with fucking cute ass sea turtles and snorkel and do <gasps> gross don't things want that on me. in the reef. And he wants nothing to do with it. He wants nothing to do with I any would have of those rather things. snorkeled than do the fucking shit you had me do. So we went into this adventure book and we picked out an adventure. We <laughs> I picked we. out an adventure. And so what you, we did okay. you fucking you you what is that called? with the fucking razors. That's yep. all you did. So what it was was <gasps> Amanda. So what my about entire this? fucking fingers coming okay, out. Okay, so first of all, you guys, Eat it. we got in, we got into this. So we we booked in a, a outdoor adventure, and on the thing it said, "Oh hi, Bill three six nine, changed his name." Thank you so um, much, Will Bill's long. Oh, Will Bill long hair. That's my boy. So we booked a, an adventure, and on the thing check it out, said, "Check out for long hair." By the way, guys, it said side by sides and zip line. And I was like, okay, so I want a zip line. That sounds like fun to me. He loves side by sides. So it'll, it's like a good compromise. So we'll do this. I thought so, it was just a zip line. So we get in a shuttle with uh, these other people that were from our resort, too. Blood. <laughs> and you guys, they literally drove us to the middle of the jungle you're like not, 30 minutes not doing it into the middle of the jungle the no, road we don't mean was like minutes, a s- we don't mean 30 minutes from the hotel no we mean 40 minute drive from the hotel once we got to the jungle it was another 30 minutes of in trackable not trackable trackable in trackable roads we were jumping in the van. Literally, the guy was like, you want fast or you want slow? And the girls that were in the van with us were like, we want to go fast. Meanwhile, this is also in the beginning of my fever, diarrhea, and my leprosy. Yeah. So, oh, because, rewind three seconds, when he came home from his drunken shenanigans, he ate a steak that had been sitting out yeah. on the counter for six hours. Seven hours. Seven hours, maybe even more than that. But it was so and delicious. And drank a fucking whole bottle of hot sauce. So... Oh, and Worcestershire. And Worcestershire. I drank a bottle of And then Tabasco. wondered why he had the shits for 12 hours. I had to, so then I had to go down to the drugstore at the, or the fucking gift shop and spend twenty dollars on a package of anti diarrhea pills. Best twenty bucks, and it was, yeah, it was also fine. she. She's like, it's strong. You can't get this in the U.S. So like that's how you know the shit was good. So literally, you guys the drive. So when they turned off of the road and started driving us on the gravel through the jungle. The whole time, everybody's just laughing, but like in this, not like haha funny, but in this like <laughs> haha don't die panic. Like, wh- and everybody kept saying, like, where the fuck are we? This was like period come. Like, where in the actual fuck are we? Drove us into like 30 minutes into the middle of the jungle. Oh, how do you drink? <laughs> and we pull up, we pull up to this thing, and he's like, we're here. And he's like, 
Yay. <laughs> so we get out of the van. basically tipping him to give hints to say, please don't do this again. Here's money to not do it again. So he walks us down to this thing. And it's literally just like some stumps carved. I have it on film. It looks like we're on a way to the cartel of murder program. Yes, which is like some stumps and like a shed with like some lockers and a bathroom. And they put helmets on us that weren't really helmets. They were like like costume helmets. Like I think it was just for uh, uh I don't know, whatever. We signed our lives away on a waiver. I don't think anybody read it. Just signed our lives away. These tiny little helmets. These goggles that were literally the worst thing ever. They were so scratched and money you couldn't see through them. And then they tied a bandana around our face. Put us in the messiest, dirtiest, jankiest side-by-sides I have ever seen in my life. 2015. And uh, said... They were, they were players races. One of them was 900. Here we go. I don't he, know if ours was. He but. goes, do you have, have experience with driving these? And Nas and Tyler are like, yeah. Yeah, of course. He's like, how about drinking and driving? And everybody's like... Um. He's like, we encourage it here. What? <laughs> yes. What? Yeah. If I would have known that, it would have been a mad day. So, so we get in these side by sides, and it literally there's like huge puddles and drifts and rocks. We're riding. There was a few people there. They were real inexperienced. Let's just be honest. They were black and from Virginia. They were my favorite people. Just, oh, oh my Lord. god! It was, it was you guys. It was they were fucking it's fantastic. A group of black chicks from Virginia, big who had big, no big, idea what they were getting themselves no. into. Just they had the zeroest red Mexican bones in their body, and all I wanted to do was just hold their hands and be like, "Listen, it's going to be all right. We're going to go down seventy-five foot hills. It'll be just fine." The problem was. They were governed, which was, in my opinion, me and Tyler Tyler was probably more dangerous than if they would just than if they would just fucking let it be. Oh, remember you had said that something about downhills? Yeah, that's not true because we we did the big downhill, and that's almost where we flipped. Oh, you're right. That was, it was way more dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> so we rode side by sides for like what forty minutes? No, thirty it was, minutes. It was, yeah, thirty minutes. Plus 30, plus minutes thirty minutes. Forty minutes. So we rode side by sides. That was a good amount of time. We it was gone for like it was all together about five hundred yeah. hours. Yep. And then we get to this. The, they like stop us. Everybody's got to get out, and they have us climb up onto this deck. They harness us all up, put us in these like chains and hooks and things, and then we walk up this like deck. And there's like a whole that's a real that's a real generous term. Like a wood it was platform. A, it was just a fucking wood with a hole in the ground. And they somebody just asked if you're having a drinking contest with yourself. Mm-hmm. And so there's literally just like a hole in the deck and then a hole in the ground that goes into a cenote. And if you don't know what that is, it's literally just an underground cave. You make it sound way less uh, romantic though. It was really cute. It was super cute. It was beautiful, you guys. And it you were not, was I, you, I didn't even get any kudos from you that I, as soon as like, who, so who's going to put their life at risk next? And, I was like, and he was like, I am. I am. And I was like, because the whole time he's like, I'm not doing it. He's like, I'm not doing it. I'm not ziplining. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not doing it. So he repelled down into the cave first. I fucking repelled down into a fucking cave. Thousands and and thousands this is what they say. Tuck deep. your knees in. That's hold your face up. You, the advice they say is like, don't hit your knees. Yep. Hold this. Hold, hold your face against the rope so you don't smack your head. Hold your face against the rope. <laughs> So basically, it's a liability. Just yep. so, you know, so we don't get sued, and which in which case they can't anyway, because they made a sign of waiver. And his exact words were, "That's just a form." So you say you you you're waving your life away. Yep, that's it. So we rappelled down into the cave, and then they made us climb a rope to get back up. And then we get back up. You hold on, stop, stop. We rappel. We I rappel down into a fucking cave. And my heart is pounding so hard, I have half of a mind to call a Mexican ambulance. Now, look, I'm half Mexican. The last thing I want is a Mexican ambulance. Excuse me. I walk from that cave to the other side of the cave. And he says, all right, now climb it. And when he points his finger, I'm like, cool, a little jungle gym. As I come out of the cave... It's a 90-foot 
spider. What would you call that? Like those? It's just a. It's just a rope. Like, like a, a jungle gym. It's like a jungle. Mm, the jungle gyms are, are 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 rigid. This is just rope. Yeah. It's just rope. Okay, go ahead and climb on up. You could, no, climb on up. Like it like it's a fucking ladder. It was hard. It was <laughs> real hard. It was hard. It was stupid hard. Yep. So we did that. It was like erection hard. It fucking sucked. And then we get back up and across this cenote. Oh, bam, bam. Cargo net. It was a cargo net oh. and it goes upwards. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So then they had this like, like a. a oh, uh, Jose, Jose Martinez is real quick. I'm not joking around. Since we, Can you go ahead? Since you're dad, I need advice. I wanted to tell you I'm afraid how to react. I'm going to be a dad already and I need. Message him. No, no, no. I think this is a good topic. Um, Jose, I want you to stay around. Uh, give us, give us till you know three, four, five, ten minutes. As soon as the story's over, I think that's a really good segue into something that's that's kind of deep. Go ahead. Yeah. So then we walk across this like tightrope. They hook you onto one tightrope, and then you have to walk <sighs> across another tightrope. You have Stop. to like shimmy across. Stop. And I was like, okay. And I get halfway across, they're like, okay, let go. So I was like this. They let go. And if you guys follow either of us on Facebook, you'll see the picture. He was literally behind me. He had his arms up around the top tie rope, like holding on for dear life. Like this. It's not funny. Well, I was like this. Wasn't funny. Wasn't even And then funny. when we were done with that, they brought us over. They're like, if okay. we were drinking, I think I may have done things. And if I didn't have diarrhea... <laughs> I may have. Oh my God. If you would have done. Okay. So the next thing we did, if you would have done that first, you would have pooped your pants. I saw your, <laughs> I'm going to die face. You guys. Not many so people then, get to have that happen. No. So then the next thing they do, they're like, okay, who wants to go first? And I was like, well, I'll go first. The fucked up part is I was mad because I was going to say, I'll go first. If, and if I would have went first, I would have went. But since I didn't go first, better was. You ruined it for yourself. So they just had me walk up onto this like plank over again, over the top of the cenote. And they hooked me up. And so they're like, okay, so I'm going to hold on to the back of your harness. Don't fall forward until I tell you to. Talking about this makes me real uncomfortable. So they are to hooking me up. I'll be right back. I'm they're gonna hooking me up on a harness thing. Like my harness is here and the rope is out there and they're hooking me up this way. So like my body wants to pull this way because it's pulling tight. Only thing that's holding me up on this platform at this point, you guys, is the one guy that's got a hold of my harness in the back like this. He's like, no yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. So they hook me all up. He's like, okay, hold on to the rope with two hands in front of you and then take a step off of the platform. And I th thought it was going to be like a like a little zip line or like I didn't really know what I was doing. So I took a step off and just fell because the rope is way out there. And so it literally was like a pendulum swing. I draw, I f was like free falling until the rope caught me and then pulled me back. And I was just like swinging and even thinking about it now, like my chest is up in my throat and it was one I'm telling you guys the biggest adrenaline rush ever had in my life so like i'm glad i went first because i'm i didn't know what to expect and it was one of those things where like once the rope caught me and i started to swing i was like holy shit and like i said next week we'll show we have so we purchased the pictures there was somebody walking there was somebody there was a couple of people i think that were taking pictures of all of this while we were going through and we bought all the pictures so we'll show you guys proof of all of this when we're done. And um, and as soon as Na saw me jump and swing, he went and walked down the steps and stood at the bottom and was like, <laughs> not fucking doing it. And he wouldn't do it. I, we tried to convince him to go back up and do it. I'm like, I think you're going to regret it. He's like, no, the fuck I'm not. I'm not going to regret jumping off of a platform to free fall to my life. It was great. I loved every fucking second of it, you guys. And then after that was over, they had us climb back up. They just climb back up. And then that's when we went and did the zip line. Oh my God. And 
this is the thing, you guys. So zip lines, it's like not a big deal for me. We've zip lined through the like across the Mall of America. Like zip lines are just like not a thing for me. So this was like a pretty small, like it was short. It was not a very long zip line. Fast. It wasn't small. But this is the thing. They're like, don't worry. It looks like you're gonna hit your head, but you won't as long as you don't sit up. So when you think you're gonna hit your head, don't pull up against the rope. Push back. All oh, mind you, they want you to go straight. Which you guys, it literally not it, a possibility. It literally felt like we were gonna hit our heads on the top of the cave. Yes. Hit our heads on the top of the cave. It was horrible. But we did it, and it was it was it was fun. It was great. And then after that, we jumped back into the water and swam into the cave. That was cool as fuck. It was super fucking cool. But tell him I saved you like a gentleman. He did. So all of this, I like loved every second of it, you guys. I loved every second of it. We get into... Oh, read. Oh, this is for the brush because it's fucking great. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Oh, who's it from? Oz- Ozzy. Ozzy. Chino? Yeah. Um, so, much, so we sw- to get into yeah, the cenote quick, it took a year to design that so I appreciate any compliment thank you so much so when we were swimming into the cenote so you have to go through this like little hole it's like a tiny little hole that you have to swim through you, to get to the opening you'd have an easier time fingering it than you would swimming through it, your head hits the fucking so here's the water you have here's to like the cave you have to do this put your face in the water a little bit so like you <gasps> so claustrophobic and I, that's yeah. one thing i have you guys it freaks me the fuck out small space like claustrophobia is probably one of my biggest fears like i'm thinking about it right now my chest is closing in on me so he's swimming before me and he like already knows yeah. he already can tell he's like amanda just grab a hold of my foot and i'll pull you through <laughs> mm-hmm. so i'm and then on top of it not only is i like this tiny little claustrophobic space but they didn't tell us what kind of wildlife was in the water. Barracudas was one of them. So I, the whole time I'm swimming, I'm like, something's going to fucking eat me. Something is literally going to fucking eat me while I'm swimming through this tiny little hole. And Barracudas I'm not coming out. tree roots, believe it or not. And I'm not coming out. It was guppies and tree roots. Barracudas? No, not in that one. Not in that cenote. In other cenotes, not in that one. Um, there wasn't barracudas in that, one's, in that one, but other ones there are. The cat's freaking out. I know. Um, and so that was also, I was like super freaking out about that. But then once we got inside, super cool. The only thing that was in there was bats and a lot of them. Though. And it was a lot of them. There was like poop everywhere. It was bat. But there was a lot of dead barracudas and piranhas. Was not. <laughs> there was not. And then we were done. That was, that was the end of it. And it was, it was phenomenal. Perfect. Oh, that was great. It was great. It was a fun day. It was a super fun day. But the rest of the day, we felt like we were fucking hungover and dying from the flu. I should have closed my eyes. It was eyes. like never been that tired ever. You guys We've never you, been that when tired. When you say the word flu, like I was already experiencing the flu. I know, but the rest of us, we were sitting at dinner like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was fine. It was good. It was I good. gotta pee. What kind of pee? I just have to pee pee. So there's a couple of different things that fucking... Mandy, Mandy exaggerates. Like when she says the words, like the zip line wasn't that bad. It wasn't. It was short and it wasn't that fast. Because one of them I found said that it goes 50 miles an hour. That was what we were going to do. But it was a six hour adventure. I like adventures. The difference between my adventures and her adventures, her adventures put your life at risk. My adventures may, you might get arrested, but at least you're still fucking alive, right? It pisses me the fuck off. Almost pulled the, the trigger on the barrage today. Bam, bam, why didn't you, brother? Hurts my feelings, dog. <laughs> Hurts my feelings. I want to know the reason why. Stan Man says, bam, bam, buy one. You'll fall in love. Get aroused the first time you use it. Yeah, so one of the worst fucking things on planet Earth. Uh, did I meet who? Tammy. That's the question, Tammy. And, uh, let's see, and chickens and a dog. Today, I was in the garage. And there are chickens and the dog. Running. That's right. And the, and the kitty cat. Well, we we're also looking at getting a fucking ostrich and a mini pony. Squilly V, what's going on, ma'am? Mm. To provide direct support to thesis. Thank you so much, Melissa Perry Pruitt. Uh, Melissa, may I ask how you and your husband, your whole situation is going? If you don't mind me asking again. 
if it's not you know public information, we'll talk about it. I'm talking to Chef, bro. Mm. I think Chef, everybody. So if you guys, anyone that's a part of the Ninja Militia, you guys know you are you are welcome to my fucking house. You come to my fucking house, you welcome in the studio where the magic happens. I hand this is not to brag, it's just the truth. I hand delivered. I hand delivered three stickers and like four sets of coils to somebody who who's a trucker came up from Missouri. He was at a truck stop. He said, Hey, I'm going to be nearby. I will fucking hand deliver that shit. Ask my boy, Andrew Detman. Do you get an ostrich eggs like chicken? Yes, you do. Elise. Thank you. I've done research. These is we're about to make uh, my uncle quit cigarettes. Thanks to you. So th- thanks to you, Jose. Oh shit. Uh, so hold on. Let's talk about your kid real quick. So, um, Specifically speaking, you're about to have a child. Tell me about the situation, Jose. Stan offered me to bring to oh, dude, come to my house, Lando. But you gotta you have to join the Patreon page at least at a dollar. Come on, dude. It's a dollar for a studio too. That's pretty good. That's not that bad, if you're asking me. But it depends on the situation too. But OS like if you're going to do it, do it right. Meaning, if you're going to fucking tour the studio. You know what I mean? You no, know, I saw you, Amanda. This don't fuck with oh, me. Oh, I scared the shit out of the cat. You sure did. Why would you do that? Because I didn't have the courage to, the ambition to climb on the floor. To climb on the floor? Yeah. You mean better stay on the, all fours on the floor? No, I didn't have the force on the floor. Hey, do you want me to put you fours on the floor? Please? No. Did you? Are you talking to Jose yet? Yeah. I can't read it. Can you? He said, how do you prepare for this? Oh, I'm the wrong person. I told him, man, you always know, like a party and do music, so. And I'll look at him making hay rides in the back of a lawnmower. Yeah, you got to make hay rides in the back of lawnmowers, bro. Otherwise, you're going to be a bad dad. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, John Q, we did not come home to snow. Uh, well, yeah, we did. There was it snow snowed away. while we were gone, but yeah. nothing that said this morning. I had to scrape the win- the frost off my windows, though. Oh, that's so something you think your husband would do for you. You'd think so. Instead, I used a back scratcher. A lot like blowjobs. I'm sorry, I was setting you up for that one. You can use a back scratcher too. If it was, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm going to use. Your money to buy a real doll. I don't even want one. They're creepy as fuck. But I don't understand. If you go on Pornhub and type in real doll, like there's dudes. There's a few chicks, but there's like most. It's almost all dudes. What? Elise said, Nas, you're an awesome father, even when you forget the kids on a half day. Did you really forget them? Yeah, what time was, did you leave here? So I was. No, that's a real story. Like, so people, I don't know. If, I don't know if anyone thought that that was set up. That wasn't set up. I fucking went to film the me like exporting a video. And as I was like, Hi, Zaz, and I fucking look up at the screen to, to film the exploration of the video, and I saw the time. What that time was, was it? A, it was 12, 14, 13. But I made it there. Did I tell you what happened? No. So fucking, so I'm doing, and I'm like. And again, for those of you guys who don't do this, in Minnesota, we do this thing, it's like the one of the last weekends and weeks in October, it's called MEA. And so it's like conferences, the kids don't have school for two days. So our kids have been home today. They're on school tomorrow. And yesterday they had a half a day. So that's what happened. Keep going. Uh, uh, Every state does it, doesn't they? No. It's only a Minnesota thing. I found that out today. What? Yeah. Minnesota. Uh, Education Association. But that like like Tennessee, like Tennessee. No, apparently it's just like. Why do our kids get so many days off? I think other. Anyway, keep going. So I'm sitting here. I'm fucking filming this shit. And all of a sudden it's 12 something. And I told you to set an alarm while you were pooping when I left for work. I did set an alarm when I was pooping, and it went off. I was editing. I was like, oh, it's noon. I still have till, you know, 12.06. Oh, okay. To fucking, because it's, a, it's literally an eight-minute drive. It's literally an, it's literally an eight-minute drive. Is it not? Yeah. It's literally eight minutes. So I fucking pull my phone out, and I start snapping a bunch of stuff and throwing it on Patreon, throwing it on fucking uh, Instagram. And all of a sudden, I snapped. That's part of me fucking trying to export the video and realize that I'm late. Now, I'm not actually late. It's like 12, 13, 12, 14. So this is the thing with our youngest. So when we go to pick up the kids, the boys from school, okay, I drop them off in the morning. Dad picks them up. 
And w- I'm not kidding you, you guys. Every morning when I drop them off, our youngest Rocky goes, Mom, what car is going to pick me up from school today? Is it my truck? Is it grandma's Jeep? Is it what? And so every day, I'm like, I don't know, babe. Like, it's either going to be this or that. Will uh, you hold be on, part real, to- real quick. Joe Elkins, right there. Jose Martinez. Joe said the perfect answer. Yep. The fact that, how nervous was I? I still feel like I fucked up our eight-year-old's life. Because I watched way too much YouTube. And, like, these organic bitches were like, you have to swaddle them and, like, really tight. I feel like, till this day, I was, my blankets were too tight. (laughs) You were the king of swaddling. Right, but I feel bad about it. Oh, no. So, our youngest is not, he's, I fucked up one time. And Mandy said it was okay. Yeah. She said it was fine. And so one time I fucked up and picked him up at 4 p.m. It was from, from day program. It not wasn't school. school. Like it, was, yeah. he, it was not like it was. And the day program thing. goes till 6. 6 p.m. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to pick him up at 4. When instead I, of 2 when you usually do. Instead of 2 o'clock when I usually do. Now when I get there, Rocky is like being Rocky. Rocky is being Rocky. It's like playing. He's running around playing, having a great time. And one of his buds go, hey, fucker, like your dad's here. Um, and it's weird. It's super weird because all the kids know that I'm Nacho and Rocky's dad. Uh, your dad's here. I don't know if I scare them or what. I don't know. They say that to me. They didn't know who I am. Too. It's because you're super tall. And some dude fucking, hey, what's going on, muscle man? And I'm like, calm down, Tits McGee. Uh, he, it was uh, no classmates. He was like sixth grade, fifth grade. Oh. Yeah. It just hit me on the shoulder. Oh, I thought it was like I'm. No, I was, I was I was standing just like this outside of fucking the gym, the gym, the old gym. Just like this, just waiting for fucking in between Rocky's classroom and Nacho's classroom. I was just like this. What's going on, muscle man? I was like, hey, fucker. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to say. Um, what were we getting at? Oh, so I pick Rocky up at four o'clock one day. Though this is in the summertime, towards the end of the year, to the end of the summer. And Rocky's just fine. I pick him up. He's just fine. Now, when I bring him to the truck, he's like, I sit in front. I'm like, yeah, of course. But he has his hood up and he's wearing a sweatshirt. Minnesota summers are they're they're hot, but in a different hot. They're humid. Amanda, how humid is it in Minnesota? It's bad. It's fucking bad. We have more shoreline in Minnesota than the East Coast and the West Coast combined. That's how hot it is. Ninety nine to hundred percent humidity. Without rain and sunny, yes, you can. Yes, it's possible. Rocky puts a hood up on a sweatshirt. The fact that he's wearing a sweatshirt is a little creepy. It's a lot like the trench coat mafia. But we, you know, all the guns are in safes and he doesn't have a list. Let him do what he wants. Sure. And let him wear what he wants. He can't write. So, or read. He can read fine. And write okay. So then he was a little sad. And I didn't ever, I never, I never pinpointed why. So the next few weeks at RCC, he would bring up the fact that he didn't want to go. He was sad. He would cry. Now, that's not Rocky. If you know Rocky, Rocky's none of those things. He doesn't have feelings like mm-hmm. that. He's like very, let's just play. So go ahead. So the first week of school, he so last year he was in kindergarten. He went every day. It was fine. Everything was fine. Drop him not off. He'd be great. He didn't want me to walk him in to drop him off. He wanted nope. to go by himself. Don't come no. in and get me. Don't walk in and drop Fuck me you, off. Mom. Like Fuck super you, independent. Says. Super just like whatever. Hit the like button, guys. So then all of a sudden, this year, he's like, you have drank almost a 12 pack. Yeah, and we've taste, been live for an hour. But taste this beer. It's fucked. It's like 1998 in a hotel room. Okay, but we've been live for 73 minutes and you've drank a 12 pack. All right, but just taste it. Taste no. it 1998 at a hotel room. No, thank you. Like not, so, ginger, not ginger cookies, but like taste this. It's no, a, thank you. Babe. Ah. Uh, no. Yeah, it's it tastes terrible, but it's, it tastes like a hotel room in 1998. Are you criticizing my beer? I fucking love beer drink. So the first week of school, he literally is crying every day when oh, I drop stop. him off at school. I've literally not changed since you've met me. Correct? So why are you criticizing my... Because they're talking about it. Uh, so what? Let them talk. I fucking love me some beer. This, this is our Friday. Your finger makes me want to throw up. I know. It's fucking gross, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like so, sausage underneath. So he, the first week of school, he literally was crying every day. Every day bad. I drop him off. And we're bad. like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm like worried. Crying every day when we dropped him off. And finally, 
We get down to it, and the one day that <laughs> dad picked beer. him up, yeah. At four two o'clock. hours late, which was fine, which was not, it yeah. wasn't really late. It was just like later than he normally picks him up from day program. He, for, he thought dad forgot Hold, him. Let me go and just say it was for you fuckers, by the way. It was literally, I was editing a video till it was completely done. Once it was done, I'm like, oh, perfect. I'll pick Rocky up. So, so horrible. So that one time, like so then it turn, it comes to find out that he was super upset and he was really nervous about being at school because he thought somebody was going to forget to pick him up. He thought dad was going to pick So then it finally came out. It, is dad going to pick me up? Is dad going to forget to come and get me? <laughs> mom, mom, make sure that you tell dad to come and get me. So now if we're not like one of the first people that get into the school parking lot to pick them up, we have to, so like when you drive into the parking lot, there's like a, like a curve That's and this curve. is where the door comes out and we have to be one of these two first spots. Vehicles, yeah. One of the first vehicles there. And if somebody who's like, so during the wedding and the honeymoon and we had like other people scheduled to help like with pickup and that kind of stuff, they'd have to go into the school and like be in there when he walked out. So he knew who was there to pick him up. Yep. It's now, so now every morning. So keep so, going. So you were still on time. So I was still on time. I get to the school at 12 26. What time did you tell me to pick him up? I just told you to. What to time? Your alarm for noon. I said 12. I said they're done at 12 30. So 12 30. I was told by several people, including Rocky, 12 30 p.m. The exact words were after lunch. 12 30 p.m. I was there at 1225. And the only reason why I know it is because I looked I looked at the clock physically with my eyeballs at 1226 when we were leaving the parking lot. So it took me in total under 60 seconds to pick them up. Now, Rocky's exact words getting into the Jeep was, you know, I was waiting 15 minutes on the bench. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. He's like, but oh, he a- was on the bench when you got there? Yeah, he was on the bench when I got there. And, and Nacho was by himself, like away from him, like trying to pretend he wasn't there. Of like course. This. And so Nacho gets in, he climbs to the back. And, and why the fuck do they have to come in the front and climb to the goddamn back? <laughs> I Mandy, don't know. I don't why? Know. I don't know. That's your children. They're complicated, like you. So Nacho gets in, climbs to the back. Rocky gets in and says, hey, you know, I was sitting on the bench for 15 minutes. I said, I'm so sorry. And then I realized what time it was. I'm like, wait a second. I'm literally ahead of time. Why were you on the bench? He's like, don't worry. I was talking to a friend. So it was fine. <laughs> but he said it the same way you say, don't worry. It's only been a couple beers. Yeah, I'm fine. Like that. So he was real snotty. But I couldn't help it. Like I felt, I felt horrible because that one day, four o'clock. So Jose, the moral of the story is: be early to pick your kids <laughs> up to say, school. Don't ever forget to pick your kids up from school. And I didn't forget. No, I know, but just don't ever not be at the same time yeah, because it'll never. Fucking if you start it. picking your kids up from school at fucking two o'clock, pick them up at two o'clock. How much do we pay for take for a summertime? It's super inexpensive. I mean, it's it's expensive, but in comparison. Yeah, but like, what if we sent Rocky and Cho five days a week? In the oh my god! But I, I don't even know. That was a flat rate of twenty bucks or something. No, it's like eight dollars an hour per kid, and then five dollars an hour additional for every sibling. So thirteen dollars an hour. That's it. How much does that come out to be per? Five More days? than I make at work. <laughs> no. For back I mean, uh, yes. It would be, it would, it would, I would, nobody would be making, I would probably not be making any money because it would all be going to pay for them. Patreon.com slash thesis himself. <laughs> this is, this is our job, guys. Like, this is my job. Manny's job is a stylist. Okay. Can we talk about this? Yeah. So let's go ahead and pick this out. We're going to pick out Manny's first vape today, right here, right now. <clears throat> okay. So our first choice Magic Auto Pack by Joyee Tech. This is what it looks like. Whoa. Is your chlamydia finger a little weak? <laughs> it's not funny. It's, I don't have chlamydia. Can you open it? it Tammy, it's not, it's not nicotine. It's I, not. Why can't we talk about it? It's not. 
illegal? It's I know, oh. but YouTube sees it as a controlled substance. Oh, it's not THC oh, or shit. it's not THC and it's not nicotine. Okay, it's it's it rhymes with Tell her it rhymes with hey, wait a minute. I don't know. That's what rhymes with. So it's pretty big. It's cute though. It looks like a shark. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. I think it's too big. Okay, it's too big. So I'll... <laughs> So what I was whispering to her was you better like this. <laughs> Because this is out of the Patreon giveaway box. Not giveaway. Patreon drawing box. Which will begin shortly. I have to ship everyone's ship out. I have to ship everyone. We just need to get our life back together. Yeah, we have to get our life back together. It's going to cost me more than $300 to ship everyone's. Real life, guys. We just need to get our fucking shit together. All the Patreon page shit. So all this is, this is all. We have a Patreon drawing box. And this is out of that. So I'm telling her, you better fucking be appreciative. I don't like it. So give it to somebody else. Okay. Next, Nugget AI. Oh, what? It literally looks exactly the same, except that one's got a weird nipple on it. Oh my god, it's, not a it's called a drip tip, Amanda. <laughs> well, it looks like a nipple on a weird boob. It's so it's not any different than the other one. It's a drip tip. It's not a fucking nipple. Well, now it's both. More. It's listen. Don't even open it. It's got a screen on it, babe. Don't even open it. I don't give a fuck about a screen. And what is that Chinese like pattern on the side? It looks that, like Chinese dragons. That's a swirl. That's an acrylic. <laughs> like that's Chinese a, dragons. Racist bastard. That's an acrylic squ- swirl. No, from here it looks like Chinese dragon smoke. Like it looks on the other side like there's a dragon blowing smoke. I've never even seen this mod yet. I have to review this. Hold on. I have a black one over here, and then this is a blue one. So let's go ahead. <sighs> You're gonna you're gonna deep breath me? No. You're gonna deep breath me. This is the See, artery- everybody everybody likes the fact that it's a nipple. It's everybody is super nipple game. Game team nipple. It's a drip tip. Team nipple. Everybody except for you. I would love to suck on drip tip. <laughs> Holy shit. This is one amongst one of the prettiest pot systems I've ever seen. But there's seen. a dragon on the other side. But there's not. I hope there's not. I'll be real mad. No. Any dragons? No. It's a swirl acrylic. Oh, oh my god, feel that. That's quality. Oh, it's heavy. That's quality. Yeah, that's, it doesn't it do- definitely doesn't feel cheap. Does not feel cheap. Holy shit. Ooh. I mean, if you're into it, like it's cool. That color is fucking super cheap looking though. Oh, oh it's color. pearlescent purple blue. Artery vapor. Holy fuck, dude. It's got a nipple on it. I hope artery vapor sees this. I hope I legitimately hope artery sees this. I mean, like it's if you're into it, like it's cool. It's not a nipple. It's a little bit of a nipple. A little bit. A removable nipple? Ooh, it's not even removable. It's an all-in-one nipple. It sure is. Oh. Silicone. Just for bitches like you. Mandy asked one of the ninja militia girls. <laughs> the real Darth Vader. No dragons. Just the just the face of an offended Asian guy in the production factory. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was fucking solid. That was a good one. Okay, we'll put the fucking artery nuggets back then, I guess. Brand new. It's not even released to the public, and you just said "fuck you." So, I'm sure for somebody who likes it, it'll be good. <laughs> Which is horrible because I'm hoping I genuinely like it. I you lo- probably will. I love the artery lineup. I love the nugget. I love. Oh, that cat just scared the fuck out of me. He's probably hunting. Leave him alone. He's a hunting. <laughs> I'm so many cats. Okay, next one is the. It one looks exactly the same as the other two. No, it doesn't, Maddie. It's completely different. This is the one golden ratio. 
Why do cats always put their butts in your face? To enjoy you. Well, I don't like him oh, purring so loud. You guys can hear him purring. Can you get his butt hole out of my face? It's really weirding me out. Okay, so this is the one artery, or this is the one by, this is the golden ratio by one. Look, this one's got a dragon on it, too. It's not a dragon. It's a fucking acrylic. They all look like dragon flames. It's an acrylic look, swirl. Look, it looks like a fucking dragon flame. Maddie, it's an acrylic but, swirl. Be honest. Dragon flame. Mom would love that. She likes that color. It's her favorite color. Ooh, that is pretty as fuck. It is. It's cute. I have not reviewed this. Next <gasps> oh, you oh, cat. It's the truth. Is that what I sound like? Yeah. One by. Ooh, touch that. I mean, I can like this kind of dragon flames. It's not dragon flame. It's an acrylic swirl. That's a maybe. That's a maybe. That's All right. Maybe. So we'll keep it out of the package. That's a maybe. We'll keep it right there. It's a cute color. Here, cute color. Put it here. Okay. After you've offended everyone who pays me. Let's go like this. Okay, this is goes on the left pile, which is His maybe. Whiskers are out of control. Oh, look, he typed for me eight seven zero p.m. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> That's the cat. The cat wants everyone to know. The next one, the Lost Vape Quest. No, don't even open it. Seriously? Don't even open it. Lost Vape Quest. Get out of my hands. Appreciate it. Actually, you could probably open that one. Okay. Well, I'm, okay. Hit the like button, guys. Jesus Christ. You know, there are there are children. Can I tell you? This is what it's like to cut your hair. Really? Yep. This is what it's like to cut your hair. No way. Yep. Oh, I can appreciate it. Check <laughs> out that. So whoever gets this, just know the teeth marks that are in the box. <laughs> it's, this is actually super pretty. I, damn, I fucking heavy. Holy <laughs> shit, Batman. Yep, this one. You want to go ahead and tell everyone what you did to the uh, to the uh, Uno pod? Oh, so earlier, show, show, show I threw it in the garbage. Show. So this is Uno pods. Shout out to Uno Pods. Earlier, while he was doing shenanigans somewhere. Tell, tell, tell him what I was doing. Getting me beer, I think. I was hand delivering coils. Oh, he was with Chris. I was. And I was like, you know, I bet I could do this by myself. And I like pina coladas. And so I found one that said pina colada on it. And I was like, okay. So I took it. And I tried to pull it apart, and the whole, can I, I think I can. can should I get it? Mm -hmm. So to make a long story short, is Mandy thought that the Uno Pod, which is basically you know same as a Zig, same as a Uno Pod, same as a Mojo Pod, she thought a disposable vaporizer. She was gonna fill it up with liquid, and that there was a tank inside. Clearly, there was not a tank inside. I was like, I should probably throw this away before Love anybody Subaru. sees it. Because I think I, I was nervous to push it back in because I thought it was going to blow up. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God, Amanda. How'd you get it apart? I just pulled really hard. You're strong. So, Amanda, my beautiful wife. <gasps> you are my wife now. Mm -hmm. You're no longer finance Mandy. I, can I still call you finance Mandy sometimes? Yeah. This is what my poor wife did to my motherfucking Uno pod. So I shoved it back in there and threw it in the garbage. You like this? And I threw it away. <laughs> so Mandy pulled. I was really nervous. Real hard. And she broke my Uno pod. <laughs> yep. And it's delicious. It's Pini Clot. I know. One it. of my favorite ones. I know. Me too. So I want you to do me a favor. And apologize to Uno Pod. I know, except Uno Pods apologize, but like I, it's delicious. So no, it's dead. You literally killed one of my favorite fucking flavors. 
Okay, we'll put the lost baby away. No, keep that one out. All right, so this is going to be a maybe? Maybe. Hey, so this is a maybe. Next one um, is the Lofe Ninja Pod. Oh, this I hope this is good. Oh, I think I know these ones. Double Fun Ninja. I don't think I like these ones. These ones really have a dragon on them. Fuck, it really does. Goddamn Chinese. Dragons. There's really a dragon on There's it. There's legitimately a dragon on this one. I thought you loved these ones. For the marijuana aspect. Um, you want Tammy's. No. no. Bam, bam. No, I just, no. Mm. So right here is the, oh my God, it's a full-blown MTL. Fuck yeah. Beautiful. And then this side is Amanda. It's your THC pod. Different button completely. Mm, no. Really? You're yep. the one that told me to get them. I know I did. But because one stays by the bed and the other one will go with me. All right. Fuck you then. That's a right hand side. That's nope. not even a maybe. Nope. All right. Next one. The Pavino Wing, one of my favorite pod systems of all time. I love Pavino. Pavino does the best, in my opinion, in terms of blue tooth. I don't uh, want anything with blue tooth. That's way too much. It's too many. It's perfect. It's not, it's not too many. I don't want a blue tooth. How do you I don't know? want a blue tooth on my mod. Why? For what? Because that way you can control the voltage. Or For the... what? Okay, do you think I'm going to be changing things? Yeah, I want you to change things. Oh. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. Okay, I'm going to get a pot. Okay. Uh, I forgot I said it at full blast. That some bitch fucking vapes so goddamn nice. Oh, it's menthol. Mine is. Mmm. Remember my dildo mod, Manny? Remember? The, yeah. That's this company. Floosh. Isn't that right there? Not Floosh. There's another one right here. Where? No, that's Floosh. This is this is Pavino. It was all. Oh, they're different. Good God. I don't want anyone to know my fucking opinion on this before the video goes out. But let me tell you guys right now. The Pavino wing. It's not as good as the dildo mod. However, I do not believe that the flavor that the Pavino, any of the Pavino, any of the Pavinos deliver has ever been even close to being matched. The Pavino way in terms of a pod system is good. It's not as good as the Dilomod. It looks like a pea. The Dilomod, I don't know. Well, that right there. With this little thing right here. Okay, compare. Let's go ahead and compare it. Is it just like their thing? Well, it looks exactly the same. This one's just skinny. Yeah. It's exactly the same. <laughs> a $300 tripod. It's a $300 tripod. You almost broke. Okay, so this is the dildo mod, my favorite mod of all time. Favorite pot system of all time. And this is the less dildo y thing. No, why should go like this? <sighs> but you'd be way sadder if I turned my dick and look at like that, right? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, make a long story short, Pavino is the king of Bluetooth, in my opinion. In my <sighs> humble opinion. All right, so note of this <sighs> over there. Okay, so you ready to choose? Are you ready to choose? Amanda, are you reasoning? Yep. Okay, this is the fish. No. It's the fish box. It's the, it's the I fish. Know. I don't like it, though. It's not cute. It's blue. I know, but the other ones are here. All right. It's got a word on it. That doesn't fucking difference of a... Okay. All right. Nope. That's got a dragon on it, too. It's not a dragon. It's a fucking swirl, Manny. It's an acrylic it's swirl. Got a dragon on it too. I don't want anything There's no dragon. dragon. It looks like a dragon. It's not a dragon. It's not a dragon. It looks like one to me.
and it's not. It's a fucking dragon. If a dragon would wear a t-shirt, that's what it would look like. <laughs> You're right. You're exactly right. <laughs> Oh my god. And you know what it looks like? Those you know those black shirts? Like the black bowling shirts that have the red and the like black affliction? flames? Affliction. No, 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 no. The red and the black. It's like a t-shirt, but it looks like a bowling shirt because it buttons up and it's but but silky. Yes, yes. It goes like this. That's what it looks like. A dragon's t-shirt. You don't think it's pretty? No. I don't want a mod that looks like a t-shirt a dragon would wear. What do you have against dragons? Nothing. Why does all why do all mods look like dragons? It's because from the China. What do you have against Chinese people, man? <laughs> Nothing. Well, I guess the Smoan baby battle bitch is not. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I don't think I've even ever opened. I don't even know what this one looks like. This is this a just... Guy Fieri t shirt. Thank you, Mike Troki. I that's fucking exactly... love Guy. We both love Guy Fieri. I know, but that's I what love it is. I love Guy Fury. I love Bobby Flay. So does But Matt. it looks like Guy Fury's shirt, his flame bowling shirt. Oh, it sure does, doesn't it? Yep. Squiggly V says, I'm wearing a bowling shirt right now. I fucking love Squiggly V. Did you just call him, what did you call him? Squiggly. Squiggly, what's that? What's his whole name? Squiggly V? Squiggly V. <laughs> Squiggly V. That's your new name, Squiggly. Sorry. I don't even know what this one looks Ask like. Ask Black China how that goes. And R2D2. We haven't heard from R2D2 in a long time. Oh now I don't fucking want that shit. Oh you have one of those already. Why are you acting like you've never seen that before? You have one of them oh, right the fuck over there. I have four different vape pipes. Now I'm going to look at this. Not even not a single one. Looks they like all this. look exactly like that. Like a fucking 80 year old man sitting on the side with his legs crossed and his fucking house slippers. Is this? No, you got a different one when we were in um That's that one. California. That's the one. I know. So why are you acting like you've never fucking seen it before? I don't have one, Amanda. That looks fucking re absolutely this stupid. Look anything like Why each the other? fuck is this on here? A fucking None 85 year old look man. Like each other. So None now you're an 85 year old man with a white linen shirt and fucking purple velvet house slippers. You call it a white beater for a reason, Mandy. No, not one of those. Like a white linen like a loose linen shirt loose. with like velvet loafers and white socks with your legs crossed and your pants too short. Amanda, please like it. Would you like me to buy you some purple velvet shoes? If you want to buy it. Your pee is not going to fit in that can. Shh. Your pee is never going to fit in that can. Never. Nope. Do you hear that flow? You're never going to fit in that can. Five, four, Three. See? Told you. You're not gonna it's not gonna fit in that one either. <laughs> that was disgusting. You love it. That was disgusting. Love it. Absolutely disgusting. What was? The fart while you're pissing into a beer can. I was not farting. Or peeing. I was ejaculating. I hope not. The noise that you were just making. <laughs> what? What? What do you have against it? Could you imagine me just like this? Dude, well, stop throwing things. <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Not, stupidest thing I've I ever seen. I fucking love it, man. Hickory? Is it supposed to be like because it's like a hickory <laughs> smoke? Is it called hickory? S sickery. It's called it's sickari. It's sickari. Oh my god, it's called Sickery. <laughs> oh my god. Amanda! This is my job, dude. It's Sikari. Well, you wanted me to be honest, so. This is a non-vapor judging a vapor. Not an 85-year-old man. And I also don't not disagree with her. Hold on a second. No, Wait. put that fucking dragon shit away. I have to put the instructions back in to review it, Amanda. Well, make sure that when you review it, you tell people that it looks like Guy Fieri. <laughs> I fucking love Guy Fieri. No, so it has nothing to do with Guy Fieri. It has to do with his t-shirt. Does your brother wear those shirts? Because I just picture your brother in one of those. His suit definitely looks like he could wear those shirts, doesn't he? That's my picture. Why are you going into the... 
Why are you going into the disc pile? Uh, no, Hello. I, I, I make you try I make you try to have Monday babe. You take so long. <laughs> because because she you needs take, to you take so long. I just want you to go to I love you, Tim. It's her that's taking for it. What about I want one of the, what hex oh no. Nope. No, I want the that, that one. Tech. We're talking that one, about, the, one of those two. The one tech. That one tech. The, nope, I don't want anything that has that name. I thought you loved the one. It. Yes, the one tech is dope as fuck. The one. The one. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You love Justin. The one that was the one that was at ECC and he hooks up with boxes. Oh, all those T-shirts we got and the boxes of things. Yes. I, this is my favorite name. It's my favorite vape name. Can I have that one? Yeah, that one tech. It's like, you know. Like so are you Asian or are you hood? Both. It's that one tech. What if you want like a, a size D battery? I would like D battery. Look, look, look. How pretty is it? This is literally yours. You fucking picked this one, Amanda. Oh, I did pick that one up, but I don't want it. That's women. That's women right there. Because what are these things for? I don't want those things, plastic containers. It looks like fucking Trident gum. You need coils. You well, need power. It looks like a piece of gum. The, those like circles that are on there are a cute color. These? Yeah, that's like a cute color. She, uh, everybody, she's talking about the coil and the, the piece of bubble gum. I don't understand your frustration. That's pretty. It's cute. I don't want to carry on bubble gum in my purse. Baby, all mods take coils. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> but do they all look like bubble gum? They all come in bubble gum bags. All of them. Every single one? Every single one. I don't know if I want to do it then. Why can't I just have a disposable pot system? Because disposable come pre-filled. You can't fake it? You can't just like break it open and just fill it on your own? I thought you knew how to do that. You are literally sounding like my least favorite comment on my vape hack videos. What? Every single... Yo, yo, but can you refill that stig though? Like, no, because it's disposable. I know, but there's a way. Because I don't want to have to charge anything either. <laughs> I don't want to have to be responsible for remembering to charge things. Because you know how like Bluetooth headphones work for me? It's not very well. He's like, just plug them in at night when you go to bed. I'm like, but I don't bring them to bed with me. No, you do what I do and you put them on the charger in the studio. I know, but I don't have like a place because they're just like usually in my purse. So. Baby. I don't know if I can do this. This is a lot of responsibility. I have to like put bubble gum packets in it and I got to charge no, it. No, you don't. Once it's filled, for you, for someone who doesn't vape, this will last so long. Seriously? You're like, me? Okay, okay. Stop. We'll put that one type away. I love it. It's like that. my other one I've never had to charge. What one? My other one that's by the bed. Oh, I had to charge it. And I've charged it since. Okay, so again, I've never had to charge it. But I have. So, in, I cannot believe I'm about to say the words that are about to come up. In terms of cuteness, which one do you prefer? The one, I told you, one of those two. Really? Yeah. Just put my name on it. People will be excited to get it. Um, this I'll one? sign it. Yep, I'll sign it when you send it out. Because then people will know. I want you to know you're a YouTube porn star. What? I've had gentlemen 
uh, tell me, hey, your wife is hot as fuck. Can I jerk off to her? I don't like that. It's happened twice. I, I don't like that. I like it a little bit. I don't like it at all. Can we can we pick between the other two? I liked the white one though too. Oh my god! The white one that looked like that a little bit. I like that one too, but I don't. I don't think I want white. It's gonna get really dirty. Cause it's like in my purse. There's lots of weird fucking things in the bottom of my purse. It's just gonna get dirty. <laughs> A box or a Which one takes less bubble gum? I don't know. I haven't tried either of them. Would you like me to check for you? One, one vape or lost vape? <laughs> I've never heard a non vapor say the names. And they both sound dumb as fuck. <laughs> lost vape? Like, shut the fuck up. One vape? One vape? What a fucking stupid name. I don't know. The one vape is cuter, but it has dragon smoke on it. <laughs> can I try? Can I start with this one? If I don't get, can I have the other one? No, these are the Patreon pages. Vapes. They don't care. They would tell me that it was okay. Patrons. Ninja Militia. Okay. Ninja Militia. I want your, you need to give Mandy permission. They're going to tell me it's just fine. You're the female Jay Hayes. You're just angry, and you just—I'm not angry about anything. You hate—I, what he would say. You you hate everything, and but the things you like, you're still going to complain about it. You're still going to complain. Probably not though. See, everybody says it's fine. Everyone's saying it's fine. Yeah, have at it, Mandy. I give Mandy permission. It's fine. See, everybody says it's just fine. And like, I'll give it away if I don't like it. Somebody else can have it. You are. You are you are the fucking gall damn you are also the cutest know, thing you've ever seen. Yeah, definitely. But you also remind me of like a Zofi vapes mixed with a you want to know what should happen <gasps> is when you do your videos, I should get to open it first. Oh my god. Do you know how many companies would never <laughs> Ever Never that. ever send you anything ever again. No. Well, you know what though? Should we just do that? Should we just give it a shot like once a month? Just do it. Yeah. All right. It's done. It said you yes and okay. non vapor reviews of vape product. I think that's a that'd be a fun idea actually. If I just want to look at it, like I don't think I need to use it. No, no, you have to use it. You just look, look. Let's open the box. But this is so dumb. Or oh, this is great. No, but it, if it's not dumb, I'm not going to say it's dumb. Like, I never didn't say anything was dumb. I just don't understand why everything looks like a dragon. Or a nipple. I would love for you to unbox my RDA right now. And no, but I've seen it already, so that doesn't count. I've never, seen it. You've never unboxed my RDA. I know, but I've seen what it looks like. Brand new in the... So no. many times. There's three of them sitting in front of me right now. Yeah, no, those are prototypes. Please don't talk about them. Unbox it. I talk about oh this is a fingerprint man. No, if we talk about the box first. That's how you unbox it. I have to talk about the box. Yes, the shape of it and everything. Well, it looks like one of these things. Oh my god! Oh no, they can see me. Okay, we'll show them. Hold me. It looks like one of these. Thanks, Manny. Oh, thanks. My RDA box looks like a fucking paper football. Okay, continue. But look at everything outside of the box. I know the corners right here. You're missing this portion. One picture. <laughs> a barrage. What does it mean it's gold? What did you just call it? A barrage? Bra barrage. It's a B-R-A-G. What, what's this? It's got like a wagon wheel on the back. <laughs> you call this a wagon wheel? It looks like a wagon wheel. Is that a wagon wheel? Tell me it doesn't look like a wagon wheel. I said that. I said that in my vape porn as well as review. I agree completely. Looks like it. No. So this looks just like the outside of the box. Sad. No. Who, that, who does that look like? It looks like you. <laughs> no, read the directions. I'm not reading directions. You're a horrible vape reviewer. Vape, vape, review, vape reviewer. Not really sure what these are for. 
Show everybody. No, 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 no. Show what you're doing. <laughs> Mandy. What? Show everybody what the fuck it is you're doing, lady. So I'm not really sure what these are for. The, these come in like Ikea furniture when you... <laughs> Shut up! Probably try to put it all together. You're these are those little things. You're worse than they any come... review I've gotten. You're, the, you're way meaner than anybody. <laughs> Inside Ikea furniture. I can't really get this thing out. <laughs> I don't know what any of that is. Well, unfold it. Unfold it correctly and show I want one. to. I'm not really interested in it. Right here, right here, right here. No, look, just tell me what you see. I think these see. are coils. If I, I, you want to know what? I know they're three millimeter coils because I know that's what the mod or the RDA was built around was three millimeter coils. Oh. And these are the Asmodus O rings in Asmodus green. Oh and my God. These are squonk pins. There's only one squonk pin. But then what are the other things? The squonk pin, what are these other gold things? Grub screws for the coil. Oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but what do you think of? What do you think of the packaging? I don't know. It looks like the chicken we get at Costco. You know, like the rolled up. Oh my god! The rolled up individual chicken. That's what it reminds me of a little bit. I spent a fucking year designing this part. So this is gold with a black nipple on it. Oh, read the bottom first. I'm trying to open it. It's not a nipple. It's a drip tip, dude. This is my own wife. This is my own wife. A serial number two. Asmodus. It's Asmodus. Designed by Thesis himself with Brage. Look cute. Show everyone up and here. Up here where my head No, is. I don't care. What... CE. Don't throw it in the garbage. And something else. I don't know. <laughs> something else. I don't know. Oh my god. And I don't know how to open it. So. It looks like you screw it on top of something. Like this. <laughs> Airflow is nice. It's clean. <laughs> There's no fingerprints on it. Except for hers. It's good. If you guys want a Asmodus Barrage. Serial number two. Serial gold. Number two with Mandy's fingerprints all over it. I'll even put the Ikea screws back or screwdrivers back in the sides. <laughs> so fucking Mandy. Am I wrong? Not necessarily. What are these called? Allen keys? Yeah. Hex so they come in Ikea furniture. No, those are hex screws. Not like a hex like a witch. but like No, because you get these little things. So you have to... The stupid things. It all puts back together really nice. So was, nobody will even know that I used it. Except for when they watch the live stream. And everybody... I thought you said the package was hard to open. It's not hard to open. Because I already opened it. Oh. That's good. I like it. You guys. Okay, so Manny's got to fill up her new mod. We have um, do we have something that has a peach in it? No, because you don't like that. I know. Uh, Wolfgang Puck. I love Laser Wolfgang Puck, which is a beautiful peach. You look like 10 years ago right now. Shit. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <That's better. laughs> okay. Damn. Mm. Bam, I fixed it. Oh, my God, oh that was so on accident. I'm so sorry. How do you know this is broken? I scared the shit out of me. Can I have keys? Alright, so lost vape. No, I want this one. Or the one. Which lost one do you vape. want? You want the lost vape? I always feel like it's bad luck because I lost mine. Okay. Do you mind if I just try it out first? No. Okay. I've never reviewed this product. I was supposed to. But I don't want nothing to do with it because it's way too loose. So we're gonna open <laughs> we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna figure out how to fill it. It's gonna be a fill port on the side. Fill port on this side. Fill port. Tim, where the fuck is the fill port, ass cunt? You're gonna cut me with your knife. It's a 
fill port somewhere. Help me out. He has the uh, lost vape fish. Okay, I want the other one. <laughs> no. Hold on. Do we? I want one of your beers. Do you have? Do you haven't drank any of your beers. No, you cannot have any more of my beers. Baby, you haven't drank any of yours. I know. Doesn't mean that you get them. You're Someone, gonna break it. I know. Someone help me out. Can you give me a beer? Let no. Me this out. I do this for a job. But I don't know how to fill this. I think you're going to give yourself chlamydia again if you don't put your knife down. I don't want chlamydia. Should I read the instructions? Yeah. Did you ever share yourself with a knife? Oh, uh, you pinch on the sides and it's right here. Pinch? Gotta take the top off. Yep. Pinch, pinch the sides and then pull the top off. Ouch, I have chlamydia. <laughs> You try it? Yeah, pinch the sides and then pull it off. Good job. And then you fill it on the side right there. You're scaring me. <gasps> you motherfucker! I've never heard you say motherfucker. <laughs> That's cute. Hold on. Can I do that? To me? No. There. No, it's open. You already Don't did it. Bite it off. Okay. So, now, let's feel. I think you have to push down. Or squeeze. It's childproof. Oh, it smells like nothing. Tanky poochie poochie pooch. I'm super hungry. Should we take some? No. Good thing we have Subway in them. Oh, do we? Yeah. No, don't. I want some things in there. I don't want it just plain. Tank caught the cap. Don't do that. That's disgusting. To who? Okay, what kind of things do you want? Oh, Nothing a... up there, because everything up there is old and brown. <laughs> what are you trying to say about me? <laughs> Nothing. That's all the shit up there you don't want. The ones I, don't, I do want, I give it the patient operation. Okay. Now, out of all these, what would you like? Not a Cuban cigar. Maybe flan. Mm. Trapped e-liquid? I don't like that they don't have... Oh, dragon shake? Oh my god, I just got horny just my knee touching your thigh. Isn't that crazy? Guava flake. Hey, did you hear me? It's sexy. Psycho... Psycho... Cruel. Mm. It's, it's a vanilla... Um, no donut. No. No. Okay, no. put all these over there because I know. No. Why? Who wants to vape a Cuban cigar? Everybody. That's a bad idea. Oh, you, I you have these ones over here already. No, this is too many. Well, just tell me which one you want. Zero Nick. I can make them all zero Nick. What's this one? I don't think anyone's watching us anymore. I don't think so. Oh. 37 people. What? Why doesn't this have a flavor on it? What did I see? Look at the picture. A splash of tropical fruits. Yeah. At the peach front bar. Gross. At the beach front bar. I bet. Oh. I think that might be the one. It's not going to work. You keep giving me all these Cuban cigars. Oh, fuck. Unflavored. Dead man walking? 
how do you like when you get how do you know what these things are like when it says dead man walking how do you know what that tastes like well, this is a zombie that walks that's disgusting i would never buy that no no oh, no not that either oh my god i have literally paid 64 <laughs> i'm interested in this pistachio one i don't think i want it but it's no it's delicious it's my favorite pistachio I think I want this fruit one over here. Lizzie, do you have this the one. most amount of liquid anyway? Mm. You sure? Yeah, smell it. It's good. I like those. Do you, know, do you even know what it is? Nope. What do you want to know? What? It's monster. Energy drink. Oh, yeah, I don't like it. I know. Pistachio is the best. No, because I like fruit. I yeah, want, like, but if I didn't tell you the pistachio was pistachio. Oh my God. No, I don't want any of these things. Okay, well, how about. Oh! I know what you're going to love. Right here. This one. Bam, cham. Oh, passion fruit. Bedrock? It's delicious. <laughs> You're so cute. That sounds really unsafe. Oh, Mike Trokey says the Jake Dragon Shake is good. I know it's good. But that one's the best right there that you're about to open and put on your wrist. It's a brand new bottle. Mike Trokey says the Dragon Shake is what he's right, he has right now. I hate Dragon Shake. Yes. Good as tits, ain't it? I don't think I like watermelon. You like iced watermelon. That's like right way. That's exactly what you want. You like minty watermelons. It tastes like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mike's got Dragon Shake in his barrage right now. Ew. Why is it you? Oops. Spearmint. I want to like your button a little bit. Coffee. Did you want to try Godfather? Oh. This is nice. This is nice. What is it? The Drake and Shake. Fuck! Why does everyone like the dry? I hate. It tastes like a shake. No, it doesn't. It's like, it's like fruit. I hate fruit. I know. That's what, exactly what I wanted. Let me taste it. I wanted fruit. Oh, that's delicious. What is this? Dragon Shake. This what I want in there. What the fuck is Dragon Shake? It's like a it's a milkshake. <gasps> Seriously? Just like think about it for a minute. It's like a strawberry shake. That is fucking phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I've never had that before. Have you? No. A dry. I thought you hate dragons. I do. Oh, look at that. Look at that fucking wrap around. That, that wrap around. And there, and th with that being said. Well, no, we got to fill it up first, <laughs> asshole. I put dragons in this. I haven't put dragons in our fucking non dragon mod, this bitch. This my wow, person. if that ain't a fucking. Tits McGee. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Hate dragons, love the shake. Hate the dragon, love the shake. Okay, ready? Before I do it, it's only 1.5 mils, so calm down, dude. Who's calming down? I don't know. Cause can you find me a peach? Do you want to say it again? Peach. I'll give you a peach. Cause peach is my favorite. When I see, I get one piece of peach. <laughs> Isn't peach bum? 
no, peach is not the bump. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no, but the peach though is the pussy. No. Yeah. The peach emoji is a butt. Yeah, the peach emoji is a butt. Oh, where's but my thing? Bella peach is. Is There's one. so much. What? Do you call it juice or e-liquid? E Let's do it again. E-liquid. E-liquid. I've never tried this. I have to push a button. What's wrong? Is it not working? Not working. Works fine. Oh, then what are you doing? Just testing out it. Well, don't waste it. Those are my things. Oh, Chrissy Moody says, try glass Caribbean punch. Chrissy Moody is here? Yeah. Can I have my things, please? No, thank you. Well, this feels nice. Do I have to push the button? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. I think it all tastes the same. <laughs> Bits! Okay, smother truckers. Now, with that being said, I want to tailor our page for paper with pieces. <laughs> that being said, I want to tell our page for paper with pieces. It's your boy, thesis. Well.